This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. In our last Photoshop challenge, we saw incredible artist Cheesy Creates finish my artwork with this epic sci-fi photo manipulation, winning himself a Huey on tablet. So, due to the amazing amount of entries we received, it only made sense to throw down the gauntlet once more and challenge you to finish my artwork. Here's a quick reminder of how this works. I will start a photo manipulation and then stop halfway through and hand it over to you to finish it. And you can use whatever stock assets you like. You will find a link to the PSD in the description and a high quality JPEG for those of you who do not have or use Photoshop. Shop. I have once again teamed up with Hueyon to award the best entry an Inspiroy Giano tablet. All you need to do to enter is submit your work via Instagram by the 28th of July using the hashtag YouFinishMyArtwork and also follow Phase Runner and Hueyon Canada. And I will share the best entries and pick a winner in the coming weeks. Okay, let's run it. So, if you participated in the last You Finish My Artwork episode we did, then you'll know how this goes, but if this is your first time, I'll just quickly explain the plan again. I'll simply start a piece of artwork and then pause the creation process once we have a simple composition in place and this is what will be available in the PSD for you to continue with and finish off. And like last time, I'll continue creating my own piece of art with the template to show an example of the type of direction you could go. So let's crack on with it. I found the perfect image to get things started, we've got a character holding a lantern which will create some nice opportunities for some lighting. I'll cut them out so we can resize and reposition. The background's a bit too simple, so let's add in a nice cloudscape. The horror vibes were a little too strong, so this should help lighten things up also. I'm not the biggest horror fan, so I suggest not going too dark with it if you do decide to take it in that direction yourselves. And now we need a subject and focus to work with, and I think a tree will lend itself nicely to this current environment. I just want to extend the bottom of the trunk slightly, so I'll drop in another asset and blend it with the one below. Great, I think we'll pause it there. So this is the template you guys will be working with, which is available for you to download, but stick around to see how I'm going to finish off this artwork myself, and maybe it'll give you some ideas of your own. So here we go. Like before, you're allowed to add your own assets, just make sure the elements from the template are included in your final artwork in some way, but feel free to edit and add to them. For my piece, I'm going heavy on the fantasy and magic, no surprises there, with lots of swirly glowing lights. I'm just extending the underside of the tree so it doesn't feel so flat. I think my aim is to make the tree look lived in. Maybe some fairies, a few windows, that sort of thing. Whenever it comes to my photo manipulations, the key component to making it work other than the idea is great stock assets. Invato Elements has a wealth of high quality stock photos, videos, motion graphics, music and much much more. I've tried many sites over the years and nothing comes close to the value you get from Envato Elements. With Envato Elements huge stock photo library, you simply type in what you're looking for and then narrow down your findings using the filter options. And what's more is that you get unlimited downloads, so if that asset you found isn't quite working for you, just jump back in and download more assets. If Envato Elements is for you, they offer 50% off an annual subscription. So rather than paying $33 per month on a monthly plan, you'll be paying $16.50 per month on an annual plan. Click the link in the description to try it out for yourself. By dropping in this brighter image of a tree and setting the layer blending mode to color dodge, this will give me a nice base to work from to start building up some mystical lighting. We can then isolate the brighter green leaves and increase their brightness and mask them in any places we want some highlights.
and then a blue colour fill layer set to screen to paint in some light haze. This will help create a bit of separation and depth. The area between the branches need defining some more, so I'll use an exposure adjustment layer to do that. Let's add a few light rays. I've got this stock image of some spotlights, which I'll set to screen and place where needed. Just creating a few more highlights and shadows on the tree to give it a bit more form. Loads of you got really creative with your characters last time, which was awesome to see. This character actually works really well for my scene as it is, so I won't be dressing this one up. I'm just going to enhance the shadows and highlights slightly with a few colour shifts. Using the colour range tool to isolate the highlights from our wheat or grass and then turning them a brighter blue to paint in some highlights given off by the lantern and tree. Definitely hasn't clicked quite yet, still trying to figure out the lighting. I'm going to add various church inspired windows and hopefully this will bring the tree to life slightly and give some context for the unnatural lighting. Okay, that's looking a little better, but still not quite there. It's all still a bit boring. It needs something else. I'm going to add some light trails flowing out from the tree to help give it some energy and movement. I'm not sure what they are exactly. Maybe something to do with those fairies, but either way, hopefully it'll look cool. For these, I'm just using various abstract and smoke images and then warping them into the desired shape and position. Almost time for the final image reveal. And here's what we end up with. As you can see, I've continued to develop various elements, repeating certain steps from before until I had a composition I was happy with. Around two hours on this one, so fairly quick, but I hope it inspires some of you with your own creations. Uh. 
remember, you can download the PSD and the JPEG using the link in the description. And if you're looking for more inspiration, be sure to check out the last episode of You Finish My Artwork. Before you leave, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.